for he was grace that bought my liberty. I do not know just why he came to love me so. He looked beyond my faults and saw my need. I shall forever lift my eyes to Calvary to view the cross where my Jesus died for me. How marvelous the grace that got my falling soul. He looked beyond my fault and so my need and for today i humbly seek my father's door and grant that thou would smile on things you And when the she thin sands of time so round you, help me to never take my eyes from you. I shall forever lift my eyes to Calvary to view the cross where Jesus died for me. How marvelous my falling soul he looked beyond my fault and saw my need Charity, grace, and faith in thee, your soul. I asked your help, the Lord of Calvary. Abounding grace, my hope throughout my pilgrimage. Christ in my heart, the pali gate is sure. I shall forever lift my eyes to Calvary to view the cross where Jesus died for me. How marvelous the grace that cut my falling beyond my faults 
and so my knee, my knee. Can we look in our program? Just open to that congregational song. Bless be the pie. Shall we pray? Our dear Heavenly Father, we are very thankful to you for your goodness and your mercy Amen. that this day has been planned from eternity. And it pleased you to make it to come to pass today as we all have gathered here to rejoice with our children that have grown up under your care, under your, under your, your teaching, under your mercy and by your grace you made this day to be possible we give thanks unto you we bless your name we honor you lord that you have provided a place where we can worship a place where we can rejoice with our children glory be to thy name praise be unto you lord as you have even withheld the rain to allow us to have a good time glory be to thy name as we have gathered together to rejoice with our boy and our girl, Lord, we pray that you will be here. Amen. Just as you were at Cana of Galilee, Lord, we pray you will be here. Amen. Our needs, oh Lord, we will bring them before you. We pray, Lord, you will meet them. Amen. You will surprise us. Amen. You will go beyond what we can expect. Amen. You are God. You can do all things. With you, there is no impossibility. Amen. Lord, come and meet the needs Amen. of these children. Amen. As they will start their day today, let your blessing be ahead of Amen. them. Amen. Let your blessing overtake them. Amen. Let your blessing surround them. Amen. Remove all things that can hinder them from their path Amen. and let their way be straight with you. Amen. Let them live with you. 
Let them, let them wake up and sleep with you. Amen. Oh, Lord God, be their God. Amen. Do all things to your honor Amen. and to your glory. Amen. And, Lord, we commit the rest of the service today into your hand. Lord, lead us, oh God. Amen. Lead our pastor. Amen. And at the end of it all, we want to glorify your name. And at the end of our life, Lord, we want to be with you in your kingdom. Make that possible, for we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. You can be seated. Right now for our musical selection, that's piano solo. That's going to be by Joshua Adesino. Only scripture reading for uh, this uh, occasion will be taken from the New Testament. And uh, Brother Funcho Ojo will do that reading for us. Brother Funcho Ojo will do that reading for us. <coughs> for our reading this morning, I'm going to read from. Uh, book of Ephesians chapter 5 from verse 20 to 33. Ephesians 5 20 to 33. 20. Give me thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Submitting yourself one to another in the fear of God. Wives, Submit yourselves unto your own husband as unto the Lord. 23. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. And he is savior of the body. Therefore, 
as his church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husband in everything. 25. Husband, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. That he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. 27. That he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. 29. For no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourished and cherished it, even as the Lord the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall be joined unto his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. Amen. 32. This is a great mystery. But I speak concerning Christ and the church. 33 and the last. Nevertheless, let every one of you in particular so love his wife even as himself. And the wife see that she reference her husband. That concludes the reading. Amen. Thank God for that scripture reading. Our sister Chidima Okum Emulo is going to give us a solo after which... Uh, uh, we're going to have a word of exhortation, stroke sermon. Just where we go and help us to be wise in times when we don't know. Let this be our prayer when shadows fill our day. to a place guide us with your grace to a place where we'll be safe I pray you be our eyes and hold it in our hearts when stars go out each night, remind us where you are. Let this be our prayer, just like every child. to find a place guide us with your grace give 
give us faith so we'll be saved. Our world where pain and sorrow will be ended, and every heart that's broken will be mended, and we'll remember we children reaching out to touch you reaching to the skies we ask that life be kind and watch us from above when stars go out each night, remind us where you are. Let this be our prayer, just like every child. to find a place guide us with your grace give us faith so we'll be Thank God for being here. It's afternoon already. Amen. We're not going to keep you too long. But this come once in lifetime in the life of individuals. Amen. In our, in our arrangement here, uh, in our, uh, for our denomination here, we get married only one time. Unless uh, by reason of death, uh, that don't come alive again. So all of us that here, we want to take our time to rejoice with these two young men and women. Amen. Most of all, before exhortation, we just want to, you know, uh, give uh, honor where honor is due. Most of all, honor to God Almighty, the creator of mankind. Those, uh, the one that granted uh, journey masses uh, for all uh, our kindred uh, that have come from far and near, all the way from Africa and uh, all the way from other states. Uh, to God be the glory. Amen. To all our pastors in the house, uh, uh, our pastor at 265 is here, our pastor at Bridgewater is here, our pastor at uh, uh, Philadelphia is here. All the pastors, they are in the house. And I can guarantee you, while I start talking, you will know that uh, all these pastors uh, have uh, an imprint uh, in the life of these two individuals. We thank God for being here, for the family, both sides. If not for this, we won't know Sister Lydia's parents face to face. Amen. Amen. Uh, all his parents we know here, you see. But because of this, God allowed them to come and be with us here. Uh, to God be the glory. Amen. Amen. Uh, you see, they said we should give exhortation stroke sermon. But uh, what I really want to uh, want us to go home with, we have come here for this celebration. After we finish here, we go outside, uh, we pose uh, for picture. And after that, uh, we're going to start eating. When we finish that, uh, we go home. But uh, I am telling you all, including myself, that all of us, in all our endeavor in this life, before we go to our destination, there is a lot of curve, straight road, gallop, uh, whatever it is. Before if we even got here, we were in traffic. 
before the, before the bride get here too. I believe traffic caught them, you see. But after a while, everything is, uh, when, uh, when, when, when all right called, they say, oh, they call the cameraman, the cameraman said, listen, we're on ground. He started smiling. To God be the glory. May God that, that smiling last for long. Uh, last week, uh, our retired pastor was celebrating 39th uh, wedding anniversary. Uh, we are praying, we are here today uh, to, uh, to just make sure we introduce these two to you. You see, the deal already been done. You see, they already know they're going to marry each other. Everything already been done. But we want to introduce them to the congregation of the righteous. So that they will know these two, they are married. In, that, in other ways, somebody of evil high, somebody have a high of sin, don't look at Lydia no more. And all right, don't have to look somewhere else no more. That's why we gave you ample opportunity and we made announcement three times so that uh, if any of you have any objection, let us know. But since uh, till today, uh, we didn't see nothing that prevent us uh, from joining these two. To God be the glory. Amen. It's a thing of joy. Your daughter will get married. Amen. My son will get married. <laughs> oh, this joy will be complete. Oh, for all of us, the joy will be complete in the name of Jesus. Because the sacrifice that you made, uh, you, bought, you put gas uh, in your car to get here, to come and celebrate here. For all our pastors, most of all, most of all, most of all, out of all the pastors, out of all the pastors that I mentioned, that I mentioned, the last one that I didn't mention to you because uh, it's a long story. It's a long story. If not for him, if not for him, we cannot stand here today. Our pastor from our church in Walton, New Jersey, you know, he was the one taking care. When Lydia moved there, we don't know what was going on. I said, Brother James, <laughs> two girls want to come there. I said, bring them. He, they, came, they went there, and the church was taking care of them. Why they were taking care of them? They were a tenek at that time. Taking care of them, I believe, if my report is right, Ore was the one that spotted Lydia. <laughs> Ore was the one that spotted Lydia. But they were taking care of them there they, until such a time. Who knows? That's why you are here this morning. Don't underscore God. When God wants to move on your behalf, uh, God wants you to be in New York, he might first of all move you to Virginia uh, to go and study something for you to know how great God is. There are many people, many young, young, young sisters at our church in New Jersey. And Ore and his parents, they were there before Lydia came there. I say, how come he did not spot any of them? Because that's not in God's will. That's not in God's plan. Sometimes all of us, look, can be deceiving. But when something comes from the heart, that's why I, I say, all of a sudden, you know, I, I, I call him my boy. You know, all of a sudden, whatever thing you do, he be smiling. Why, why are you so smiling? Because he's satisfied with the choice. May you be satisfied with the choice you made. May I be satisfied with the choice I made. When we are not satisfied, it becomes a disgruntled relationship. But when you are satisfied, ah, everything, they can be smacking your face. Okay, you still going because you're in love. You're in love. May you be in love with Jesus. We are here. We are here to celebrate with these two individuals. Because uh, I want my son too to get married. Uh, you want your children to get married. Uh, this is a thing of joy. And uh, we shouldn't carry a long face. Our face, we should be happy. Because we want them in the gospel. One of the elders told me, he said, Brother Alfred, be careful. And uh, be prayerful. And thank God. If these two individuals go outside, say, what's the big deal? We are off age. Let us go and do our thing and leave the church and we can't see them. He said, what do we have to do to win them? And that made me, that remind me why myself, while I was still young, when all of us were young, little things, little mistakes here and there we did, but God did not throw us away. God still have mercy, endurance, it works. 
when Nigerians work for you and your brother, that's how it works with you and God. God endure us and he save our soul. That's why we are here this, this afternoon. Uh, may God bless us. They don't have no money to give you. We have gifts to give them, but they don't have no money to give you. The, the gift that we are giving to you, congregation, that are here to witness what we want to do here right now is that the blessing of God go with you. Yeah. That you get home safe. Yeah. That you will say when you came for Ori and Lydia's wedding, God bless you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you came here with Eddie and the Eddie was gone. Yeah. You came here with no money in your pocket and God bless your pocket. Yeah. You came here, you don't have no job and when you get home next week, somebody calling you to give you work. Yeah. <laughs> That's what God can do. We don't have no money to give you, but the grace of God uh, will go with you. Amen. They told me not to waste too much time, <laughs> but I, I hope you enjoy yourself. Uh, may, may God bless you all, uh, because uh, these two individuals, I, it, it surpassed my imagination. I said, what's going on? I was 39 years old when I got married. 39, you see, you can imagine. You see, my son is taller than me now. You see, but this one, they, 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 they still in their prime. They, they, they young. Somebody might say, maybe they're too young. Why are they doing this? You go to West Coast, another area. You will see 16, 17 getting married. By the time you know it, they become a grandfather, grandmother. Uh, but you wait too long. Uh, sometimes uh, death already take you before you enjoy all of that. Maybe this is the way God want them to have it. Uh, we cannot double cross God. We want God to be in this association. We want God to bless this association. Even in this, our new place, this is the first wedding we want to do here. And we want God to bless. The last name of the bride is Adeshina. Adeshina in, in English means, that means the, the king come and open way. May God open way for you. May God open way for me. What you are asking from God, you might be thinking we'll be talking too much about them. No, but about you and me, what we want to go home with. The songwriter said, must I go? I empty-handed. May you not go empty-handed? May you not go empty-handed? May I not go empty-handed? It's a thing of joy. Your children will get married. Mine will get married. God will bless us all. At the end of this, uh, I was thinking I'd be so tired uh, standing up here, but God gave me the strength. Yes. The more I look at them, uh, the more happy I get. Uh, uh, may this joy continue forever. Yes. I told you that uh, our retired pastor celebrated 39, 39th wedding anniversary. God will let them celebrate more than that. Yes. God will let them celebrate more than that. Yes. And when we look at here, you see, they say, after this exhortation, our ceremony just begin. Yeah. And it's not going to last too long. We want, you see, with him, that's why I, sometimes I feel sorry for men. We, we don't have to ask him, who, 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 who bring you here to marry this girl? <laughs> hey, the father and the mother just sit down there. But uh, by reason of this arrangement, uh, we need to ask, who give uh, this uh, child, who give uh, this sister for marriage? Who, whoever give this sister for marriage should stand and uh, hold the right hand, put that right hand in my hand, and I put that right hand in the hand of Bodaure right here. Our celebration begin. Yes. Amen. The right hand. Okay. Thank you, sir. You can be seated. So all of us just need to pay attention now as we try to, you know, do the exchange. Amen. We are gathered here to join these two couples in holy wedlock. And since we know that uh, Almighty God is the author of the institution of marriage, that by his word, this only relationship between man and wife was brought into existence, we do not hesitate to proceed according to the instructions given us in, the, in his holy Bible and in accordance with the laws of our civil state. 
Obedience to the law of God always brings blessing, even though we may be in temporal adversity and sorrow. Disobedience brings the displeasure of God, even in times of seeming prosperity and happiness. Therefore, our conduct before each other, either as husbands, wives, or unmarried individuals, must be regulated by God's law if we are to enjoy the supreme blessing of God upon our lives while we live here on earth. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ also sanctioned the institution of marriage by attending and taking part in the marriage at Cana of Galilee. He further gave his approval to marriage, reminding us of some of his obligations and privileges when he said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and they twin shall be one flesh. The Holy Spirit has also blessed marriage and has used its bond of love as an illustration of the much closer tie that binds the church of Christ to his bridegroom and master, Jesus Christ. For speaking through the Apostle Paul and terming it one of the great mystery of life on earth. The Holy Spirit said, Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husband as it is fit in the Lord. And husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. For no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourished and cherished it even as the Lord the church. For we are members of the, his body, of his flesh, and of his bone. Amen. Amen. We thank God Almighty. We are here now. Amen. We want to exchange the vow. We want to exchange the vow now to the bridegroom. That's a brother Ore Oluwa Fawole. Do you take this woman whose right hand you now hold to be your lawful wedded wife and solemnly promise God helping you that you will be a true and devoted husband to her? that you will love, honor, cherish, and protect her in sickness and in health, in sorrow, and in joy, in adversity, and in prosperity, and that you will keep yourself to her and to her alone until God by death shall separate you. Yes, I do. I'm turning to Sister Lydia now. Sister Lydia Adeshina, do you take this man whose right hand you now hold to be your lawful, lawfully wedded husband and solemnly promise God helping you that you will be a true and devoted wife to him that you will love, honor, cherish, and comfort him in sickness and in health, in sorrow, and in joy, and in adversity, and in prosperity, and that you will keep yourself to him and to him alone until God by death shall separate you. Yes, I do. Amen. 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 In as much as uh, Ore Oluwa Fawole and uh, Lydia Adeshina have uh, signified their, their desire to be joined together in the holy bond of matrimony, have borne witness of this fact before God and this company, all of us. And uh, 
have pledged their fidelity and love each to other. I, by the virtue of the authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, and by the law of the state of New York, now pronounce them husband and wife in the name of Father. All right, all right, let me finish. In the, in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Before they kiss each other, we need it. We need, to, we need to pray for them. Amen. We need to pray for them. Amen. They take all the blessings for today. Amen. From the pastor. Amen. Uh, shall we close our eyes while we pray this uh, invocative prayer on both of them? Uh, we want uh, them to kneel down. Lord, we thank you. Father, now we glorify your name. O oh God, from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, your name shall be praised. We thank God, Lord, uh, we fix the date and you let us be here. We don't have to say, oh, oh, from the hospital bed, okay, go and say your, your stuff, uh, pastor. Glory be to your name. Amen. We thank God for those that come from far and near. No bad report, no accident. Everybody come in here smiling. Oh, to God be the glory. Amen. To God be the honor. Amen. Oh, God of heaven, as they have pledged today, Lord. Oh, God, uh, oh, the man said, uh, there is no way we can walk uh, without our head shaking. Oh, God of heaven, uh, should in case, Lord, uh, oh, God of heaven, uh, why they navigate uh, oh, the storm of this life? Uh, should in case uh, anything uh, oh, oppose their way, oh, God of heaven, may you please uh, counter the effort. Amen. Oh God of heaven, right now we are praying to thee, Lord. Oh God of heaven, you know that they are young. We want you to guide them. Oh God, we want you to be their guide. We want you to be their shield. We want you to be their buckler as they go on their job. Oh God of heaven, may you please bring with them, Lord. Uh, Father, at this time of promotion, at this time of this wedding, oh God of heaven, promotion, let it come the way. Good job, let it come their way. Oh God of heaven, may you please, Lord Jesus, in the gospel. We want them in the gospel. We want them to excel in the gospel. We want them to be obedient in the gospel. Oh God of heaven, make them good worker in thy vineyard. Oh God of heaven, the beautiful voice that the, the wife have. Oh God of heaven, when all is upset, let Lydia, Lord Jesus, be able to come with that tone. Oh God of heaven, and he's going to say, Oh, honey, I'm happy with you. Oh, let this be their Lord. Oh God of heaven, all differences settle later. Oh God of heaven, we want you to be with them. Our Father in heaven, Lord, in this church, oh God of heaven, as you make them the first wedding that we have here, oh God of heaven, we want you, Lord Jesus, oh, all that are here, including the best man as I was talking to him, oh God, that maybe he's the next. Oh, these are our young people. We want them to be getting married. Oh God of heaven, deliver us from foolishness. Oh God, we want want them to get married. Oh God, by virtue of the blessing today on Ore and Lydia, oh God, let the other youth follow suit. Let the other youth follow suit. Oh God, come and help us. Our Father and even the parents, where they take the money from to take care of all this beautiful wedding, oh God of heaven, replenish that pocket. Father, I never replenish that pocket. Amen. Oh God of heaven, more so, Lord. This union, Lord Jesus. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, bless the womb. Amen. Bless the womb. Amen. Bless the womb. Amen. Bless the womb. Amen. Oh God, come and help us. Our Father in heaven, Lord, all of us that are here, oh, please, Lord, the blessing of today, let it be distributed amongst us, Lord. Oh, God, we thank you. We thank you for joining masses. We thank you, Lord Jesus, since this morning that we got up, Lord, you gave us the strength. Even from the event from this morning, you gave everybody the strength to be able to come here. Oh, to God be the glory. To God be the honor. Oh, God, take all glory. Take all honor. 
When we get home, Lord, uh, let us still be feeling the blessing. Oh, God, come and help us. Uh, have mercy on us, Lord. Uh, you know, all of us, we are sitting down here. We don't know. We don't know. And we don't want to put it past no one. But I told you, Lord, I told you, the congregation, that with these two individuals don't have no money to give us. But should in case somebody is listening to us, should in case somebody is here that is not saved, oh God, save, Lord. Sanctify. Baptize with thy spirit. Let somebody's heart, Lord, turn towards thee, Lord. Oh God, even those that came here with sickness, Lord, oh God of heaven, let them receive your touch. Oh God, touch their body. Touch their body, Lord. Oh God, come and help us, Lord. At the end of all this uh, event, Lord, oh God, we want to give honor and glory to thy name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Right now for the first time, amen. Okay. Matthew. Thank you, Matthew. Amen. amen. Uh, instead, uh, in our church here, amen, we do not use no wedding band. We do not put no ring uh, in the hands of this, but uh, we use the Bible as a symbol, you know, of uh, their vow to one another. So for the very, very first time in this sanctuary, we would like uh, uh, to see Ore uh, Oluwa Fawole, and uh, Lydia Fawole, because I already pronounced them. Amen. We want them uh, to give uh, uh, the very first uh, big kiss. Amen. Uh, well, the cameraman, you can uh, be ready. Amen. No, no, no. No, no, no. Sorry. Amen. Uh, we're waiting for her to uh, uh, unveil. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Amen. Amen. We thank God. We're coming to, we're coming to the end of this, uh, uh, of this uh, ceremony right there. Before we go for the proselyte and the recession, the benediction. The benediction. Is Reverend Wyatt here? Yes, sir. Pass. After, okay. After this song, Reverend Wyatt will give us a benediction, and uh, uh, step by step, uh, hopefully, we're going to be taking the picture outside there. Remember, the, uh, the reception is at uh, the event center. You do not have to travel too far. We will direct you there where you're going to sit. Amen. And enjoy yourself. When you get over there, uh, we're all on our own. You can do whatever thing you want to do there within the limitation. Amen. To show our joy to Oreolua and uh, Sister Lydia Fawale. Amen. Amen. Somebody is going to give us uh, a special. This special song said, you? The, the bridal party is going to sing. You don't have to worry. You don't have to worry. After that, uh, Reverend John Wyatt uh, will give us uh, the benediction. You know? All right. Excluding me, right?
Amen. Shall we rise for benediction? Amen. Praise God. All house, uh, eyes closed. Father, this is the day that the Lord has made. We rejoice and are glad in it. Amen. This is the Lord's doing. And it's marvelous in our eyes. As we come to a close of this beautiful ceremony, God, we, we uh, invoke your presence now, Lord. Father, Redeemer, Savior, we ask, Lord, amen, that you will bless this home. God, bless this couple, God. Uh, bless their uh, womb, oh God. Bless all that uh, uh, are coming the days, the months, years ahead. We pray that you may bless it, God. And we look to you for all things. And may they look to you for all things as well. You are a provider. You are a healer. You are a deliverer. You are a savior. You are everything, oh God. And so we look to you now. Lord, now we lift our hands toward heaven and ask, Lord, now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the blessed fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest in the Bible with us now and forevermore. Let the people of God say amen and amen. And they say we should repeat it again that for the very first time, shall you, uh, you can face the congregation, please. For the very first time, uh, we are introducing to you Mr. and Mrs. Oreolua Fawale. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> uh, one of the cabbage.